everyone, welcome back to the Happy Little Stampers Christmas series. It's Justine here designing today, and I'm really excited to be using the Christmas, mixed Christmas sentiments from Happy Little Stampers. Now what's so great about having a set of Christmas sentiments is that you can use them on your cards, on the inside of your cards, on your envelopes, and really everywhere. So I'm going to get started by pairing them with a stencil. Now what's another great thing about sentiments is that you can pair them with any of your Christmas products that you have in your stash that's available. So I chose a stencil today and I am just adding some Versamark so I'm treating it similar to a stamp in a way. And I am going to add just some Versamark. I noticed some was missing so I had to line up my stamp again. I didn't press it down hard enough so I had to just reline it and then I covered it with some gold embossing powder and I shook off the excess and I always flick the back to get off excess embossing powder. Now one of my favorite things in stamping is watching embossing powder melt, especially gold and silver. It's my absolute favorite. So you absolutely know when this is ready and it is melted because it starts to give off this amazing shine. Now I'm just going to continue on with the embossing and then I'm going to go ahead and add my sentiment. And this sentiment stamp is absolutely fabulous because it just covers all your basic needs. And for me it's really great when you collect stamps you know, that aren't basic and are out of the ordinary and things like that. But I find I don't get a lot of use out of them. I make three or four cards and then I kind of put it off to the side. So I really like to stock my stash with very useful stamps that I can use on either an everyday basis or for certain holidays and that they work from year to year and never go out of style. So I'm going to be stamping using some VersaFine black ink. It's my favorite ink to stamp sentiments and I'm stamping the Merry Christmas stamp. And there are many stamps, as I showed you at the beginning of the video, that are available that you could stamp as well. I thought about doing sort of these fishtail ends here on the card, but I didn't have a lot of room after I cut down my little panel. So I decided to just, and they were kind of lopsided, so I ended up just cutting it down to a regular square instead. And But this is how you would do it. You would just um, put a dot in the middle here and then cut from each corner towards the dot and all you have to do is make sure that your dot that you made with a pencil there is in the exact middle of the panel. So now that I have my card base and I again cut off those fishtails because they were lopsided I added this with some 3D foam tape. Just makes the perfect addition really to any card. And then I'm going to fold over my card base here and I'm just using my bone folder to get a nice sharp crease and that's the end of today's card. So I hope you enjoyed me pairing up my sentiment stamps with other products from my stash and I hope you enjoy the rest of the Christmas series. Have a happy holiday everyone!